purpose of this press conference is to enlighten the public on the last Accra meeting of military leaders and to tell the nation where we go from here. Our main concern at the Aburi meeting was how to keep the country together and restore normal conditions. We reviewed the situation in the Nigerian army and we all agreed that there should be one Nigerian army under a unified command as at present. We recognize that in the context of the events of 1966, the most practical way of achieving this aim is to organize the army into area commands. We did not go to Aburi to write a new constitution for Nigeria. The constitution of Nigeria will be written in Nigeria by Nigerians on the authority of the people of Nigeria. We, however, agreed to return to the status quo until January 17, 1966. And this is in keeping with my earlier public pronouncement that decrees or part of decrees which tended towards over-centralization should be repealed. We will continue to operate the existing federal constitution and the federal system of government until a new constitution is drawn up. In Aburi, we made an excellent start in the bid for permanent peace, but let us not deceive ourselves that it was possible to solve all Nigeria's problems in the two-day meeting of minds of Nigeria's military leaders. I did say immediately after that conference that Nigeria will definitely remain united. I would never have said so if we went there to fall apart. Nigeria will remain one indivisible country by the will of the people of this country. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, my statement, your turn to shoot. No bullets. 